Hello there. My name is George Hurst. In this program, we're going to show how to carve a buffalo head in leather from a pencil drawing by Tony Lair. Here we have a copy of the original sketch by Tony Lair. So from that, we need to make a tracing film, uh, a tracing pattern. I'm using tracing film here. And what I'm going to do as I trace is send myself a message. For instance, there are places where I would want to do a swivel knife cut as I would do here on the horn. So I will, with a good quality pencil, I will draw a line where I would make that cut. Now, it's a good idea to pull up and make sure you have a good line, and I do. So now we will continue to trace and uh, I like to do the lines that we will cut with a swivel knife first. Now, we will do a lot of cutting on here with the swivel knife, but most of the time we'll be doing it with short strokes, which I'll show you here in a second. Now, there are places like above the eye where there's a, a ridge of skin. I'm just doing that with a dotted line because that's where I will bevel only. Now on the eye, I have a little eyelash to draw very carefully, and then the eyeball itself, and then with a dotted line, another skin ridge underneath. And we'll do that to both eyes. Now down here around the nose, I will do some cutting with the swivel knife, so I will draw that line just exactly where I would cut. I'll do some modeling only or some beveling only on the top of the nose so I'll do a dotted line there. Now the nostril openings there will be a cut and then some beveling only. Now, there's a lot of hair endings to be concerned with. I want to start first with an ear, and uh, I'll start here with a cut. Then there's a jagged edge out here where we have rough hair, hair so I will trace that, as you can see, for little rough cuts or little pointed cuts. You'll see later, as we, when we start our cutting, why I am tracing this this way. And we do the other ear the same way. Uh, there's an area above the nose uh, where I'm going to just do a dotted line because we will be shaping the nose with the figure beveler. So we'll outline that with a dotted line. Now, there are folds and folds and folds of hair along this shaggy animal. So what I'll do is I'll trace it as you can see. And here again, when we do our cutting and beveling, you'll see why I'm doing it this way. What you're doing when you are doing your tracing, you're sending yourself a message. This part I want to do with a pointed beveler, this part I want to do with a swivel knife, this part I want to do with a uh, with a uh, swivel knife only. So this is how you trace to send yourself a message. You'll notice when, as I'll remind you again, when we start our uh, 
our swivel knife cutting, you'll see the reason why I'm tracing the way I am. I'm sending myself that message. On the top of the head, we will have some long, shaggy hair, as you can see. So trace it so that you can duplicate what you see in the drawing. You'll notice there's kind of like a cowlick up here on the top. So continue using this method. Notice here I'm making longer uh, tracings. to emulate what I'm planning to do with these hairs. Sometimes what my tracing is, and you will see later, is just to remind myself the direction that I want my cuts to go. And this is what our pattern looks like after we have traced it. We're now ready to go on to the leather. I am now ready to do the tracing from the tracing pattern to my leather. I need to tell you that uh, I had dampened my leather quite thoroughly and put it in a plastic bag overnight so that it would be nice and uh, cased by the time I was ready to do this. Uh, carving. So the first thing I'll do is, like I did when we traced the pattern, I will trace the part that I'm going to cut first. And uh, as you can see, I can see my mark now. It's not necessary to trace real deep, just deep enough so that you can see it. If you trace too deep, then you'll find that sometimes it'll cause you difficulty with your swivel knife cutting because uh, it'll kind of leave a, a little sliver on the side of your cut based on the fact that you have cut on the side of the hill, meaning if you trace real deep, you'll be creating sort of a ditch in your leather, and, and that's not good because uh, it's not necessary. So trace only deep enough so that you can see it. And I will now trace my horns. You'll notice I have tape at the top of my tracing so that I can lift it and check it from time to time and let it fall back in its proper position. Now I'm tracing around the ear, and you'll notice I'm tracing it with little short strokes coming to a point, and this will be, you'll see in a minute why we're doing it that way. We'll trace the ear opening, or the ear opening the same way. Now it's very important to trace these eyes very carefully. There's a cut like you can see. There's an eyelash and the eyeball. Finally, uh, with a dotted line for a skin ridge underneath the eyeball. I'll do the other eyeball the same way.
and some dotted lines around to indicate the folds in the skin. Most of the hair endings you'll trace just as we did with the pencil, varying the length of the strokes and keeping them going in the right direction. So we will continue tracing and I'll come back to you when we're ready to cut. This is how our buffalo head looks after we have done all of the tracing to the leather. We're now ready to start the swivel knife cutting. 